Big news is coming for iPhone fans. Reports are heating up that Apple is preparing to introduce Metal Ends technology across the entire iPhone 17 lineup, not just the Pro Max. This promising breakthrough could make the dynamic island smaller than ever, transforming the way iPhones look and work for everyone, not just premium buyers. Let's break down what that means, why it matters, and how it could set the iPhone 17 apart from any phone Apple has released so far. When the Dynamic Island first appeared on the iPhone 14 Pro series in 2022, it replaced the notch with a clever pill-shaped cutout that could morph, expand and display useful information like music controls, timers and notifications. It was Apple's way of making the most of necessary display intrusions. By the time the iPhone 15 launched, every model got the Dynamic Island. But for all the cool animations, fans have started to feel the Dynamic Island's actual shape hasn't evolved enough. The physical cutout is still sizable, and it hasn't given iPhones a true all-screen look like some Android rivals are chasing. Users and critics have called for something sleeker, more modern, with better screen-to-body ratio and less wasted space. Enter Metal Ends. According to analyst Jeff Poo, whose latest research note has been making the rounds, Apple is working hard to shrink those front-facing sensors that power Face ID, making it possible to significantly reduce the Dynamic Island's actual size. Metal Ends uses advanced nanostructured flat lenses rather than bulky, layered optics. This allows Apple to make the Face ID sensor system slimmer and more compact without sacrificing security or speed. What's really exciting is that this game-changing upgrade may no longer be exclusive to the most expensive model. Early on, rumors pointed to only the iPhone 17 Pro Max getting Metal Ends this year. But in a key update, Jeff Poo now predicts that Apple will roll out this technology to all four iPhone 17 models, including the standard iPhone 17, the stylish thin iPhone 17 Air, and both Pro versions. That means every iPhone buyer could see more usable screen space and a significantly smaller dynamic island. How does this actually affect your daily iPhone use? The Dynamic Island will still do what it does best, seamlessly show ongoing tasks, alerts and controls that adapt to your needs. But now, with less of the physical display cut out, you'll enjoy a more immersive experience when watching videos, gaming or browsing the web. The result should be a truly modern border-to-border -border iPhone display unlike anything we've seen from Apple before. The leaks also suggest the core Dynamic Island functionality isn't changing, it will still dynamically resize, morph and display context-sensitive information, carrying forward one of the standout features of recent iPhones, just in a less intrusive package. The only big difference, it won't take up as much of your precious display, letting apps and content shine even brighter. There are a few extra tidbits coming out of these rumors. In addition to Metal Lens, Poor reports the base model iPhone 17 could ship with 8GB of RAM and use the 18 chip found in this year's iPhone 16 and 16 Plus. Though higher models may still get the more advanced processors and higher memory counts. This is typical of Apple's strategy to offer a wide range of performance, letting users at all price points enjoy the headline design advancements. Of course, a word of caution, these reports are still based on leaks and analyst predictions. Apple has shifted course before, and hardware features sometimes get delayed or held back for future versions. Analyst Jeff Poo has had hits and misses with past Apple predictions, so it's smart to keep some skepticism until official details are announced. If these rumors do pan out though, the iPhone 17 lineup could mark the biggest visual redesign since the notch was introduced. By making metal lens and a smaller dynamic island a standard across all models, Apple could truly differentiate the iPhone 17 from the past and give users a compelling reason to upgrade whether they choose the entry-level Air or a Pro Max. We'll know much more as we get closer to launch and more leaks surface. For now, the move to Metal Lens and a sleeker Dynamic Island is shaping up to be one of Apple's headline features this year, potentially setting a new standard for smartphone design. Stay tuned to the channel for all the latest rumors, hands-on impressions, and launch coverage as the iPhone 17 story unfolds. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.